So tell me about the Libertarian Party. Uh, uh, I don't really want to talk that much about it, but I mean, you were <laughs> you were involved in the Mises Caucus trying to reform the Libertarian Party from within, right, and try to bring it back to or create its, I don't know, a, a, a sort of more pure libertarianism, I suppose, within it. It had gone very social justice-y, very left-wing from what I heard. I didn't follow it that closely, but uh, are you still attempting to do that? Is that still part of your project and why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the takeover is uh, will be completed in the next uh, couple of years. It's yeah. a libertarian takeover of the Libertarian Party. Right. Um, I, I really love those guys at the Mises Caucus, Michael Heiss particularly. I just think he's like a great dude, really right. principled, really smart, really, really hardworking. Right. Um and our, our goal for it is just to make, uh, I think that, you know, the, the libertarian message was, has never had a better moment than when Ron Paul was running for president. Mm -hmm. And that was when more people were introduced to these ideas and convinced of these ideas than any other time since, you know, in my lifetime, for sure. Right. I mean, you, maybe, you know, you compare Ayn Rand's books or something like that, but you'd mm -hmm. have to go all the way back. Um, to that, to, to think of a better time for the liberty movement. And, right. and it wasn't even a better time because Ron Paul was a way better libertarian than right. Ayn Rand was. Um, and uh, who wasn't a libertarian, doesn't consider herself one. So to me, it's like, we've gone in this direction where as crazy, as different as Trump is from everybody else, there's still, it's just become completely bipartisan consensus now. The idea of the lockdowns, I mean, Trump may have said we shouldn't do them again, but he supported the lockdowns to begin with. The idea of, of that level of government totalitarianism. Yes. And I really don't think, I think the word totalitarianism gets overused, but I don't know how else you can describe the, the, the governments actually telling you where you can stand during your Thanksgiving dinner and under what conditions grandma can use the bathroom. I mean, yep. like real deal, the, yep. the most totalitarian, you know, government action in American history. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I, well, like slavery and things like that. But I mean, like, <laughs> in, you know, in, like my, for, in, in my lifetime, in my in, lifetime. in our lifetimes yes. and for the in, on this mass uh, uh, level. Yes. Um, and this has been accepted by the Republicans and the Democrats. Of course, big government spending, you know, just like in, enslaving our children to debt is accepted. Mm. The warfare state is accepted. And I think that the libertarian movement needs a home. And so the goal is to bring the libertarian movement into the libertarian party mm. and make that ours. At least let us have this little thing where we can say, okay, this is the alternative view. This is how we feel. I think there's big opportunities uh, during presidential runs to get a message out. And uh, so it's going to be all about actually getting the right candidate. We, uh, we came into it a little bit too late to change this last election, but mm -hmm. we've almost uh, taken control of the party. And we, I've got a few things really? uh, up my sleeves. Um, we're about 40% of the oh, party really? right now. Oh, and I've got, a, uh, I've, I've got a few things up my sleeves to, uh, to make right. sure that we, uh, we take it over in the next couple of years. Oh, wow. Really? Uh, That's my plan. No hints as to what these are? you'll uh you'll you'll find out i'll i can't i can't out. tell you yet but i'll i'll you'll be the first to know thank you i appreciate that just text me hit me up uh so I why will. have why have lp candidates suck so fucking hard for decades why are they always bad like what is that um because because, because LP, libertarians i mean you got talent you know they're they're smart some charismatic libertarians not a lot but you know there's enough like why can't you pull it together as an lp uh so well so far the smart charismatic ones never want to do it they right. never want to run um right. and so that's that's a big part of the issue that needs to be changed mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. the the other thing is that the libertarian party the liberty movement has been operating outside of the libertarian party and right. they were in the republican party basically for the ron paul movement and they just mm -hmm. non-politically you know affiliated and the Libertarian Party was just this little thing over that was the remnant of something that Murray Rothbard created, you know, decades ago that like no one was really like messing around with anymore. And they've got some major co cultural problems within the party. And then at the top of the party, there's a bunch of people who are basically as corrupt as people at the top of any political party and just like, you know, using it for their own personal gain and a lot of like dirty politics and shit like that wild mm. shit that goes on there uh really? that i've heard about um but so you know that's that is uh quickly going to be uh cleaned up but there's um hmm. there's th there's a major problem that the, the truth is that the libertarian party has become uh almost like a social club for a lot of truly weird 
um, quasi libertarian people oh. who like to kind of keep it that way. And, oh. and that's a big part of the reason why the Mises caucus got so much pushback at first when we first came in, but oh. we're, we're the purest libertarians there. Right. And we're the ones that actually have people who like inspire people and motivate people and have a much bigger audience. Mm -hmm. And so it's just, you know, the party hmm. is ours pretty soon. Oh, really? You're, you're, you're pretty sure you're confident about this. I am very confident. Yes. Oh, no shit. So for the next election, you think you'll have, you'll have a good person running? Yes. No kidding. Do, do you have any sense of who that person might be? I do, but I can't say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? That's good. That's almost good enough. Just for you to say that. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, uh, Godspeed on that mission. You know, I, I'm not. Hey, why not? What got to do something, you know? I suppose. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it'd be fun. I, I, I would do it. I'd run. If, if someone bankrolled me and would accept up front that I would encourage everyone to not vote for me, you know, <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, that second part probably would encourage a lot of people. They'd be like, can we work on this platform of please don't vote for me? I've heard no libertarian candidates have done that. They've done that. Yeah, they, and they've actually they? gotten a lot of votes for it. Yeah. <laughs> they've it's gotten a lot of votes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's not a bad strategy.